this street sweeper unravel the state's case against Aaron Hernandez? The former New England Patriots lawyers say this man's testimony is a game changer. The defense filed new motions to dismiss all the charges against Hernandez, and the judge ordered the jury to go home so that he could hear from the witness before official testimony. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Boston with the story. Beth? And the street sweeper is certainly a colorful witness. The defense believes what he did and what he saw the mornings of the murders is crucial to their case, though Boston police dispute much of it. And now it's up to the judge to decide how much the jury should hear about his testimony. They're going to try to get you mad. They're going to try to get you to blow up and get angry. And that's exactly what they're trying to do to me. I'm saying this. They're trying to do me today. A visibly agitated Warren McMaster, a Boston street sweeper who drove his vehicle past the murder scene July 16, 2012, and says he gave police information about another vehicle he may have seen, a woman standing through the sunroof of a white SUV with a recording device. Yeah, yes, she, she could have been, uh, you know, making a phone call, calling for help. She okay. could have been just someone driving by. Do you remember yes. saying that to the group uh, yes. of officers? You did, you did say that. Uh, it's an account Boston police say they never got from McMaster the morning of the double homicide. The specter of someone else at the scene where Aaron Hernandez is accused of killing Daniel De Abreu and Sefiro Furtado after an encounter at a nightclub. This gentleman is telling you things that are different than what you recall. No, it never happened. It's and not that, that I don't recall. He, he never said those things before. The defense claims it's evidence the prosecution kept from them and has moved to dismiss the case, including McMaster's claim that he was told by police to empty the container on his street sweeper so they could look for the possibility that shell casings were swept up. Prosecutors claim there's no record of that, but McMaster says they've tried to coerce his testimony. And act like I should know things and I should say things and I should say things and I don't know how to say things. And they're trying to prep me. They're trying to like prep me towards a case. Like. In fact, police claim they never told McMaster to empty the contents of his container, and they never thought he was even close enough to the scene to have picked up anything that's crucial. But the defense wants him on the stand because they believe it points to their motions to dismiss. That was there was abuse of subpoena power and destruction of evidence. Reporting live from outside Suffolk Superior Courthouse, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.